You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You are called to be an influence. Waking up to another light. No more sorrow and no more night. Hey church, let's have a look at what we've been up to this year so far. Other than the stand camp, we were brought more teens than we have in the last four years. We had a youth day event where we played music, dance and really reached out to the community and the schools. We had nearly a hundred teenagers show up with the DJs and food and games. We have a cell in every school that we visit and we are working on providing transport for teens from the surrounding areas to come in on a Friday. We had our first splash sleepover of the year. It was a great time of relationship building and connecting with the younger kids. They had great fun. This year's holiday club went Kung Fu Panda style as we reached out to kids in our community and other communities. We taught them about the love of Christ and how to overcome the enemy by taking off hate and putting on love. Many kids got saved and took back what they learned to their families. Thanks to everyone that played a part in changing lives forever. We had the privilege of being part of an ACVV initiative and were able to donate and bless the awesome kids of Presswich Primary School with brand new school shoes. Kids Life has been growing. We are reaching over 120 kids each Sunday with the gospel and seeing many kids reaching out to their unsaved family and friends in the community. Also exciting news, we have officially started our very first kids choir. As part of our plans for the launch of our kids celebration in Samora, we had a bride with parents in the community. We had a great time connecting with them. They loved our vision and they gave us a go ahead to work with their children. They expressed their commitment to help us in any way. This term we had a big emphasis on equipping. We began Life Academy at the beginning of 2016 and currently have nine full-time interns that are being trained for ministry. Their subjects have ranged from Old Testament and New Testament survey, church and ministry and theology. This has been linked with the practical outworking of Ministry Weekly. We have also had training for zone supervisors, cell leaders and department leaders, developing them as leaders to make a difference. A key training event was with Wern Cameron Thompson on the 30th of July. The focus was restoring wholeness in your life and not letting dysfunction from your family determine your thinking. We looked at the role of parents, children and families and how it affects your present and future. It was an amazing day of equipping for life. Within the Social Concern Ministry, a lot of exciting things have happened. Our main events so far this year were the Seniors Breakfast Outing, the Prison Prayer Walks, Mandela Day to Samora and the Grief Counseling Course. God has moved immensely in those areas and brought many people to the Lord. We had two events for the Divine Ladies this year. For the first event, we had guest speaker Natalie Maimani and she spoke on what makes us fit for purpose. She encouraged us that the Word of God would sustain us and help us to keep fit and persevere in our purpose for Him. In April, the young adults competed in our second city challenge race around Cape Town. Dance moves were supervised, swimming techniques were tested. Overall, a phenomenal day with some teams getting caught out by our strategically thought out riddles and hints. In June, the young adults got together with the team of Kai Alpha for a quiz night. For some, their general knowledge was found wanting. Others, passion for Bruno Mars and old school boy bands was exposed in a hilarious display of a single. In June, a few of our Life Church members went to visit our church in Mozambique and to volunteer at our Life Church project for two weeks. We had a truly life-changing, perspective-altering experience. Exciting things have happened for Life Child. We celebrated our first year anniversary of the Life Child Center and preschool opening with our Life Church and Life Child staff with worship, kids singing and enjoying a beautiful birthday cake. For Mandela Day, we had close to 60 people from a number of cell groups joined together to make a difference in our Life Child projects in Samora Michelle and Kosovo. We painted fences, preschool classrooms and a neighbor's home. 
In June, we hosted a team of 43 students from Chi Alpha from Arkansas and the States. We held a one-day fun day holiday festival for over 270 of our children in Samora Michelle. An incredible day of fun. We launched our Champions campaign, encouraging individuals to sign up, raising funds and awareness for Life Child. Killy 388500 was one of the many initiatives that were launched. It has been exciting to see individuals use their influence to benefit the work of Life Child. In all of our projects in Cape Town, we are impacting close to 800 children. We now have six kids cell groups operating in our Life Child Preschool and several partner preschools. We have over 350 children participating in cell each week. Life Child, along with partner Stop Hunger, are providing approximately 9,000 meals per month. This is real love. This is real we watch Warham as a church family, prayer being a big focus. Prayer night, all cells come together for prayers. In our services, we had child dedication. This has been an incredible year so far. We are excited for the months to come. Get involved in your Life Church community. Go to our website, follow us on social media, and connect with us in our cell groups. We are trusting for breakthrough and influence in our community to shine the light of Christ and bring people closer to God. God cares, we care, people matter. Come, come.